welcome back so now in this video we will just get the user location first of all we will just close that dot file from here and go to words lib right click create a new directory by the name get user location now come here right click and create a new dot file by the name get user location and here we will have a startup widget so write st and now we will give the name get user location we don't need this const key just simply double that and click upon that startable widget import the library material dot dot now go ahead copy that name from here go to words man dot dot in here instead of that you will just replace the get user location and click upon that import library all fine now let us go ahead and just hot reload the app for now on right in this dart file there is just a empty container so that's why you guys can see that screen for now now we will simply just go ahead and integrate the google map and you guys know the steps how we will do it so for time saving i'll go towards the my home screen open the dart file go up and in here we will just copy that safe area and inside that you guys can see as a child google map for now on just copy that from here and go to words you get user location dart file in here so in here instead of this container we'll have a scaffold and in here we will just pass the code as you guys can see click upon the google map and import this library package okay now we will go back toward the my home screen and let us go at the top for now on we will just copy that from here copy it go towards the git user location and above the widget bill that's the widget bill and above that in here past it as you guys can see click upon the completer import that all just fine now we will just go ahead and copy the marker from the my home screen dot dot in here we will just copy that off from here to here simply copy that close that my home screen dot dot and go towards the get user location in here now above the widget bill that's a widget bill and above that in here past it now the error has been gone now so that's gonna be our target position area okay that we just have as a position right in this marker and we'll say that my home change that info window and all just fine for now on we have successfully just implement the code for the google maps so we have to just now check those error and we get it in here because we are having that bracket in here and we will have another bracket just for closing that in here and all just fine now as you guys can see now we got one error write it and semicolon and all just clear and let us go ahead and check the google map there we go it's working fine as you guys can see our position now we provide in here those coordinates so in here we are but we didn't see the marker so what we will do 
we will just go ahead and just call upon the marker right in the industry so it will just change the result dynamically and we will just see the marker then so what I'll do I'll just go towards the my home screen there we go and it's state and then here we are calling about that marker so copy that from here close the dart file my home screen go towards get user location above the widget bill we are in the get user location okay remember that above the widget bill in here just past it all just fine now let's go ahead and hold to load the app there you go our marker okay my home so it's working totally fine and you guys can see that so basically that is just the code for the Google map but now we will just go ahead and get the user location okay so now we will work for that but before that we will do some setting we will go towards the Android then app then SRC then man and go towards that Android manifest dot XML open that in here we will do just a little edit and add some permissions so in here I'll just pass the permission don't worry for that and I'll just provide that right in the description okay then simply just paste it right in here like I did those permissions you guys can see okay I'll just provide that right in the description you guys can copy that from there and simply just paste it in here like I did so that's fine for now let's go ahead and now we will go towards the postpack.yaml and we will import our dependency okay so open the browser and search for pub.dev so here we are right in the pub.dev now search for geolocator open that first one so you will just import this plugin and you guys can read the documentations for the geolocator okay and now we will just go ahead towards the installing copy that dependency from here and go towards the android studio popspec.yaml below this geocoding in here past it set the alignment in here like that and just hit the pub get just wait for a while it will import it there we go all this fine now get to dependencies first all good now you can simply ignore it now go back towards the get user location now we will go ahead and create a floating action button so whenever we will tap on this specific button it will just then get the user current location and animate towards that specific place of a current user but first we will complete the UI design you will create that button now there is a safe area and below that in here we will say floating action button you guys can see the suggestion have that in here floating action button I just gonna take the one press even in here for now we will just leave this empty later on we will create a method in which we will do all the work to get the specific current user location in this method for user location that is fine now below this in here I have the child and in here let's provide the icon 
and here we'll say icons dot we will go with the you will see in here button you guys can have in here anyone that you want but I'll go with this one okay cons modifier so now let us go ahead and hold to load the app and let's check this here we are okay so right from the next video we will create some methods as I told you before and we will just then call upon that right in this unpress event and then it will just whenever the user will tap on this specific button then it will just animate toward the specific location of a current user so that's it for this video right from the next one we will be working on that specific methods so see ya